on this episode of Jerseylicious. I want to partner up to do a charity event for hurricane relief. Absolutely. The only people you got to be concerned about is Tracy and Gigi. We have a big day ahead of us today. Let's just all try to work together. I feel like this benefit is going to be like really fun. Do you think you're going to invite Nick? I don't know. I just feel really negative about getting back into a relationship, and I just, I don't want it. I really think that we should go to the hospital. Oh, my god. <laughs> How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Yeah. Uh, so, you're here to see my mom? Yeah, she called me. She wants to talk to me about yeah, something. Yeah, she's in the back office. You could just go back there. So how's everything? You guys back to normal? Yeah, how about you? Yeah. I haven't seen anybody since the book launch party because Hurricane Sandy hit right around the same time and everyone is still recovering. I've lived in New Jersey my entire life. Never in my 40 years have I seen the devastation that Hurricane Sandy brought to this area. So it's a relief to know that everybody at the Gatsby's OK. Hi, Anthony. What's up? How are you? What's going on? Well, nothing. What are you here for? I got a meeting with Gail. Excuse me, Jackie. I'm going to walk you back there. All right. How's everything? Oh, I just really wanted to talk to you about the party. Like, I feel really bad what happened. Honestly, one thing led to another. And like, then I feel like I was being attacked, and I attacked back. No, I'm like, well, oh, more time. Are you all vindictive pieces of oh, you. 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 Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, it was not the place. Listen, I, I think things got really out of line, OK? A little bit. I'm not sorry about what I said to her, but I'm sorry. You know, That's wasn't fine. it honestly wasn't the you. place, honestly. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Thank you. What's hey. up? What's going on? Thank you for coming. My pleasure. So how's everything? Everything's good. I like coming back here. How's the book going? Book's going good. Yeah. Book's going good. It that came was great. A, it came you. fantastic. And uh, what happened with? Tracy and, uh... I don't know. I mean, I haven't even gotten a chance to talk to her about it yet, but I'm just getting so tired of it. I'm just getting so tired of every time. Yeah, that whether was it be, Whether it be a, an Anthony Robert event or a Gatsby, it feels like every time something happens, it's got to end like that. Like, I know, but it damn. was bad. Gigi went from being in Tracy's wedding to now, like, they want to kill each other. I know. Not to change the subject. Please, okay. change the subject. Okay. I have something that is really something I really want to do. I want to partner up with AR Salon to do a really great charity event for Hurricane Sandy. Some people lost their homes. I just lost the electric and the heat in my house. Some people lost their businesses. I lost my business for two weeks. I lost it for a week. And I found it very difficult. Oh, it's And I'm still not making it up, and no, we never will. No, we're never going to make it up. So I want to do something to help somebody, to yeah. help families, um, you know, because I have to thank God for what I have. Absolutely. But what'd you have in mind, though? I want to do this event here that will do blowouts, say $20, $25. Because it's quick, it's easy. Yeah. We can turn over money with that. And then I thought, anything we make is going to go right towards the uh, hurricane relief, yeah. OK? But anybody that has been affected from the hurricane, you know, who lost their homes or whatever, of course, they would be free. And we give them haircuts, okay. you know, whatever they need, sure. because they're really affected by right. it. Right. And then I thought, we need to raise more money. So what else can we do? I figured we could do a big raffle. You know, kids lost all their toys. So you yeah, try you to think what like they a lost. Toy drive or a toys. clothing drive. We need clothes. We need um, food. Food, thank you. Yeah. Anything. I mean, these people lost everything. everything. They have nothing. Yeah, I'm down. I'm in. I'll go to my staff. I can't see any of them not wanting to be a part of it. Yeah, the only people we got to be concerned about is Tracy and Gigi. I'll talk to Gigi. I'm sure you'll talk to Tracy. We've done this in the past, though. We know how to handle them. <laughs> I if don't they know. can't keep it together for a charity event for the hurricane, then I'm going to kill one of them. <laughs> the funny part about it is Olivia, like, Olivia, I know. Olivia didn't know what to do. I'm like, she, she saw a fight, and for the first time, she wasn't involved in it. Oh, my God. I know. That was really. You I, want me I, to talk to her, too? You want to see if she can come up, of too? Of course. OK. Go, 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 go. Thank you, thank all such gentlemen. What are we cheersing to? To Jersey. 
it's really nice to go back to our normal lives, you know, after being cooped up and stressed out because Hurricane Sandy hit New Jersey. Me and my friends were lucky because all we really lost was power, you know? Meanwhile, there's a lot of New Jerseyans who lost a lot more. Did you have fun with the book launch? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I feel like running into my ex-girlfriend though. Thanks, by the way. Yeah, solid. You knew nice. she was gonna be there. I knew she was gonna be in the vicinity. I didn't expect that fight to break out though. I really didn't see what happened. You see five girls attacking yeah, one. Yeah, it's not right. It's not right. Yo, one did kill each other. It's none of my business. If but I five saw girls that, out I would have did something. Lydia I was see. bad. Like Tracy said, a lot of nasty things. You know, I didn't want to step in and then all of a sudden it come into like a three-way fight. You know, Liv. like. There's no reason, it should have never got to that point. It was disgusting. Especially that being my event, that's all I needed was bad press on my end, on right. one of the author's end. Like, I didn't need that. Hey, Nick was there. You guys weren't really talking much. J Jackie invited him. She guess I guess she thought it'd be a nice surprise. But honestly, like, I don't know. Like, this kid is such a great catch. Like, he's successful, he's athletic, he's smart, he's established, he works on, like, Wall Street or whatever. No like, I'm, I'm starting all these new things and all these new ventures. I'm trying to make something, like, big out of my career. And it's like, I don't even have the time, let alone emotion. For all you know, he may not be the guy for you. Maybe you should see other guys. Well, I don't want to be too forward, but I do have a friend that maybe you guys should meet. Like, maybe we can all go out one night, like, in a group setting, so it's not, like, a double date. Yeah. It's just something. Like, just do it. He could be your Prince Charming, and you don't even know. You have free drinks either way. Look at the positive. OK. I don't know why everyone's always trying to push a guy on me. You know, like, Michelle's single. Why don't they set her up? It's like everyone's looking at me like a pity magnet. OK, we'll go shopping for an outfit. I definitely have outfits, but I'm always willing to buy more. Exactly. OK. It's on. OK, I will set it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. I have a stupid question. Anybody afraid of, like, animals? I have an unreasonable fear of snakes. I'm afraid of deer. Deer? Yeah. I think they're the devil's animal because they hide in the woods, and then when you're driving, you least expect it, they run out and they try to kill you. I know this is a riveting conversation about wildlife, animals, Raccoons. wildlife, nature. I think I might have something that might be a little bit better. I want to talk to you guys real quick before the day starts. I've been talking to the Gatsby. Me and Gail had a meeting, and we're going to throw an event to benefit the victims of Hurricane Sam. Oh, man. That's what a so great nice. idea. I just got the chills. I did, too. I really did. I'm really excited, now. We can't build a house. You know, we can't repair the shore. But we can make people feel good. Yeah. We were lucky. You know, we lost power. Gail lost it, too. But at the end of the day, I have a home to go to. I have a bed to sleep in. We all do. I want to thank God that I only lost my power. I mean. I have a client who lost a house. Yeah, I mean, everybody Full knows somebody who was devastated or, or touched by this. Seeing what Hurricane Sandy has done to New Jersey, it almost like it isn't real. Especially down to the New Jersey shore, like, I grew up down there and, and it doesn't exist anymore. So it's, I'm having a hard time understanding that, like, I can't go there this summer. Like, it, it's not gonna be there. I can't make you guys come to this event, no, you know? Of course. Yeah. We would Especially because be it's on your day off, of but I would hope that you'd be there. I asked Olivia, she said 100% count her. Is she going to do makeup? She's going to do makeup, I yes. Nice. The more of a turnout we'll get, you know, the more money we'll raise. And that's the, pretty much the goal. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So definitely. if anybody knows of anybody that we could reach out to who could maybe help and help us donate stuff or, you know, bring stuff to the event, yeah. let me know. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Right. Definitely. I'll get a list for you. Thanks. I'll give it to you. Love it. How you feeling? Yeah. Well, I just wanted to drop by and see how you're doing because I know any day she'll be arriving. I am now pretty far into the ninth month of my pregnancy, and it is literally moments away until I have little Michaela in my arms. Oh my goodness! We have the Louis ready. Look, I'm going to the hospital in style. <laughs> and it is the most anticipated moment in my entire life. Thank God you guys are all okay since Sandy hit. I was so worried about you being pregnant and this big hurricane. I mean, do you realize it could be any minute? I know. Any second. Any second. I mean, imagine like... I'm sitting here and your water breaks. I'll run with you to the hospital. I mean, based on how I'm feeling, we're going to just walk because it's so close. Come here, Rue. Come here, Rue. Really? For us, it's hey, easier Rue. to walk. Hey. Hey, what's Hi, happening? Hi, Danny. How are you? Excited? Huh? Any day now, huh? Very excited. She looks good, right? She's all belly. She is. 
For me, I don't want to scare you, but my water broke with George and Alexa. Oh, my God. It was so painful. How long were you in labor? I was in labor for six hours. And they had another doctor come in and press on my stomach. And my doctor was becoming impatient. And I had to get internal and external stitches. It was the most horrible experience that any woman should have ever gone through. Now I'm getting more nervous. <laughs> You know, Kathy is making childbirth sound pretty scary right now. I mean, I want it to be all flowers and daisies, not Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You know what? At the end of the day, it's your body. It's your child. However you decide to give birth to Michaela, Michaela was made, created out of love, and she's going to be the luckiest little girl to have the most amazing parents ever. So make sure you text me when she's in labor. Will do. Aunt? I'm in the back. Hey. What's going on? What's going on? I'm without a manager for a while now, and I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, I know. I feel bad. But uh, I wanted to talk to you. So did I. But wait a minute. Let me go first. What happened at the end of that book launch party will not happen at this event. We can't go on knowing that we can't even get people together in a room without yelling or, or maybe even getting physical. I mean, are we not past that yet? I would have hoped that we were. I, I would hope that we are. Not that we were, that we are. And what I said at the party to Corey, like, an I, I don't hour want to hear about that. what you said to Corey, because Corey doesn't pay you. This isn't about Corey right now. Okay, this is me having to know that I can have my staff somewhere and not have to worry half the night about how it's gonna end. Okay. Because Gigi might be there. Okay. And just tell her not to drink, because uh, she was uh, completely... Uh, uh, uh. This is too big of a deal. There's too much at stake. Am I right or wrong? Right. The last thing I would ever want to do is ruin this fundraiser. Like, so many people were like hurt in so many different ways in Staten Island in New Jersey. And when I realized how thankful I am that we didn't really get hit, I would never ever let Gigi come in the way of that. That's it. I'm supposed to have a date tonight, but I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I'm so tired. Ew, it's just, I, look I, like hate, I hate dating. I do too. Oh, That's why I'm like, sure. you know what? I'm just going to reschedule. I'm tired. I'm I need to get my beauty sleep. Yes, me too. See you. Bye, right. sugar. Bye, honey. Before you leave, can you come in the back? I just need to talk to you. Yeah. This event means a lot to me. And if there's going to be any problems, then I want to make sure that I'm going to take care of it before it happens. OK. First of all, I want to tell you that I am hosting a charity event for Hurricane Sandy. And I asked Anthony Roberts' salon to be a part of it. And Anthony agreed on it, and all his staff is coming, which is really great. But that includes Tracy. I don't want any friction at this event. Absolutely. What the heck happened at the launch party? I never expected you to act so poorly and crazy. It really just got out of hand. Like, the girl came at me, and like, I fought back. I stood up for myself. And like there was three of them attacking me. Tracy and her friends are like farm animals. Like, they should be thrown in a cage and like with a key locked and like thrown away. Listen, woman to woman, I give you a lot of credit for standing up to all of them. We've had plenty of events here, and I've no. never conducted myself or handled a situation like that. You have my word, like, that I'm not going to start anything. I mean, I know it happened before at this launch party, but, like, I hope that ship is sailed, because I don't want to ever conduct myself like that ever again. So I have your word. Yes. All right. Have a good night. You too. All right, Rahan. You make mozzarella here? Yeah, this is the fresh mozzarella, Italian still. Have you ever had mozzarella freshly made? I mean, I've yeah. had it, like, I've had the fresh kind in, like, the tub, the tub of where it's, like, floating balls. You know what that looks like? You remember when you were, it did paper mache? I was, like, a little kid. 
Yes. Right? Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. What's going on? Yes. This is my friend Steve. Hi, how are you? How are you? Nice Olivia, to meet you. nice to meet you. Hi, what's going on? Michelle. Hi, how are you? Even though Brooklyn is kind of considering this like a setup date for me, I'm not considering it a date. That's why I'm bringing Michelle along with me so I can consider it like a night out with friends. All right, guys, here's luck. Too much. Luck. 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 Too luck. Too luck. And mozzarella. <laughs> and mozzarella. <laughs> You're supposed to drink. Oh, I'm sorry. It's bad luck, bro. Actually, it's bad sex for seven years. <clears throat> <laughs> Why did she come up? You just with made this that song? up. No, I swear. Um, how do you guys know each other? We met. Well, we went to high school together. Were you guys like intimate in high school or something? No. Like that? Why would you no, ask no, no, no. that? You really I think I would bring out somebody? I'm kidding. Can you imagine? No. No, I can't really. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I dropped my cheese. <laughs> so, what do you do for a living? I'm in law enforcement. Yeah, I'm the deputy sheriff. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you have PBA cards? <laughs> There's handcuffs. Yeah, Michelle's I mean, like, I'm sick of using my boobs. <laughs> I was just yeah. gonna say, like, this works for a dude, but like. He actually might get more tickets if you give him my card, so. What kind of cop are you? <laughs> <laughs> what is, now, what is a different, what is a sheriff? Like, I don't really know what a sheriff is. I know, like, do you wear, like, stirrups and stuff? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I don't know. Yeah, we ride around on horses. <laughs> no, um. How old are you? I'm 25. When's your birthday? March 21st. <laughs> I'm an Aries. Aries. I'm good. Uh, I was about to tell like, you. Because I'm Aries. right on like the cusp. What are you? Virgo. What's that? Like a fish or something? No. <laughs> That's a Virgo, Pisces. What is that? Pisces. Oh, Pisces is a fish. A fish. What's Virgo? I'm the Virgin. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're you're you're, you're a ram. I'm the you're ram. a ram. Yeah. Do you ram the Virgin? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> good for you. Michelle, you've officially taken Jackie's spot of Queen of Awkward. <laughs> I feel really accomplished. <laughs> anyway, so. We're going to make that movie. OK. I'll take care of this. Then it's on me tonight, guys. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Um, Don't worry about it. They're my rides, so I have to uh, go with them. But we should definitely do it sometime. Definitely okay. do it again. It was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you, too. Nice to meet you. Steve seems like a great guy, you know? He's nice, he's cute, but. Michelle seemed to make a bit more of a connection than I did. And honestly, I think Michelle could get a job as like a date deflector. So? So? What? You didn't seem nervous. It's not, it, I didn't feel like it was a date at all. So you didn't mind if I call him? <sighs> <laughs> Why am I friends with you? Cause you love me. It's true, it's true, guilty. Okay, so we're having the contractions at home. Uh huh. And then we think it's time to go to the hospital. Okay. We both agreed that we are gonna call our parents when? As we're about to walk to the hospital. Exactly. My birth plan is something that I take very seriously, and Danny really needs to be up to speed on anything that could happen when I go into labor. What happens is the contractions will radiate to your lower back. So, like, I'm gonna have to, like, lean on something like this, and you're gonna have to rub my lower back. Like this? Yeah, and I'm gonna be screaming. Going so on, it's gonna we? be like, ah. Hello, Michaela! So then, there's also gonna be this. I'm gonna have a contraction, and I'm gonna go like, oh. ah! Or I could be like, ah. I think Alexa is over planning just a little bit. I mean, she needs to just relax. Danny, I can't take this anymore! I want an epidural! What's gonna happen is Alexa's gonna put on her coat, we're gonna walk to the hospital, and that's our training. You're giving me information overload right now. I just wanna go over a few things to make sure that, oh, just the passage of my baby through my vagina is safe. Me too. I think it's not a bad idea if we maybe try to do a little test run over there, you know? Will this make you happy if we do this and keep you calm? No problem. Oh, my God. Look, Rue has contractions, too. Oh, my God. Danny. Rue, I got to put you down. Mommy's having a baby. <gasps> okay. I'm tired. All right. Anyone want to go for a cocktail? <laughs> Actually, I don't mind that. Martinis? Two, three, five. I never do more than two. You know what me and Jeff always say about martinis? 
Yes, you guys always say like, they're like boobs. One is too little, <laughs> three is too many. many. I know. One's not enough. <laughs> One's not many. enough. We're teaching these kids everything. I'm learning else. all about the boob martini <laughs> conversation. Have I, fun. I, I'll See you later. drink one for you. Yep, absolutely. Three o'clock with Jeff. Thank you. All right. See you then. Bye bye. Hi, Kathy. How are you? I'm here for the bills again. Wow. It's a lot of bills. You haven't been here in a while. I know. It feels good not to be here. Uh, so. Before you go, one other one. What is this? Open it. Gatsby, AR. I really haven't seen Kathy in a while because we're having some problems still with the whole partnership thing and the way the whole Philly thing went down. So being able to have her come to this charity event would be huge because it might be an olive branch extended and it could help save our partnership. Very nice. Very I'd really nice. love for the Jovis to be there. Are you dealing with any caterers? Well, me and Gail have been talking about so many things right now. I don't think we've really nailed down one yet, mm -hmm. but. Uh, well, I'd like to, you know, bring some food. I would love I'd that. like to help out. I would, I would love that. Okay. This is a really nice thing that you guys are doing for the hurricane victims. I mean, I just know you guys living on Staten Island. You know how bad Staten Island Staten was Staten Island was hit terribly. As bad as Jersey. Terribly. We could take an event and do something good for people. Absolutely. We'll be there. I thank God every day that my family wasn't affected, but so many people lost their homes. This is their life, and it was taken away by a friggin' hurricane. All right, Anthony, well, thank right. you for including us you. in this. See you then. Thank you. I think what we're going to have to do, honestly, is use this table as an extra for blowouts. I don't think we're going to have enough I don't room. I we put all of Anthony's salon back here, though. I feel like we should like intermingle Christy. them with us. Of course. Anthony should have his old station back. How exciting would that yes, be? Yes, yes. Anthony will have his old station back. Hi. 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 How are you? What are you doing here? I wanted to come early and drop off toys and stuff. OK. I wanted to talk to you before the event tomorrow, because I haven't really seen you since the book launch party. And I felt really bad with what happened, because that was not meant to happen. I just can't believe that you and Gigi Out are of not. all people. Yeah. I, I just... can't either. I'm just, if not more, surprised as everybody else. I thought you were like else. best friends. So did I. I mean, it was such a big event for Anthony. And... I know. That's why I felt bad. And I talked to Anthony, and I apologized to him. And every time I'm somewhere with her, she just it's she just attacks. OK. We really can't have any of that at this event. No, I know. I and mean, I already spoke to Anthony about it. And I told him I felt really bad. And I didn't want that to happen. And it won't be happening again. But listen, we can't have any of that crap here tomorrow. No, I mean, I this know. is for a charity. And I really want everybody to get along. Yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to come tonight and apologize because I felt really bad. And I didn't want you guys to have to worry about tomorrow. So um, I brought a few toys and clothes and stuff, just like big giant stuff for kids. And tomorrow I'm bringing more clothes, but I couldn't carry it all tonight. So OK. Thank you. And I'll all see right. you tomorrow. Okay. Let all me right. know if you need Bye, anything Chase. else. OK. I don't know. I'm just glad they don't work together anymore. Oh, my god. Please. Isn't it so nice not to have two people in the same place that hit each other? Yeah. Liv, what? Can I like go through your stuff and see what you have for the like the benefit for Hurricane Sandy? Yeah, yeah, like food. I should have like some canned foods and stuff. Why? Wow, I actually have some canned stuff in here. I feel like the only things I really can get are like canned foods because I'm never home. Why am I gonna cook? Well, like, what am I gonna do? Like cook a five course meal for myself? Well, realistically, how long do canned foods last for? Like a really long time, right? Yeah, like that's why people like in like the war days used to just get lots of canned foods because they would like go in their little like war shelters and stuff. I feel like this benefit is gonna be like really fun. I think it's a really nice cause. It's like who better to help out Jersey than people from Jersey, you know? Yeah, do you think you're gonna invite Nick? I don't know, Jack. The other day, Frankie and his girlfriend, Brooklyn, they were like, why don't you come out with us? We want to bring along a friend. So you could just talk to him and see if, like, you know, that way you know if Nick's really the right one for you or not. I went, but I didn't really consider it to be a date. And I realized from that that it's like, I don't even want 
to get to know anyone. I don't, I don't I just don't want that right now. And it, it is completely me. Like, it has nothing to do with Nick, because I feel like I'm going to feel the same way with anybody that I meet. I just want to be single for once in my life and not have the pressure of other people trying to push another relationship on me. I just want to, you know, focus on myself for once and get to know who Olivia really is without having a boyfriend constantly there. You know, he tried calling me a few times and I just couldn't, I just I couldn't know. deal with it. It's just the idea of getting back into a relationship freaks me out and it makes me think about everything else that's happened in the past and I just get really upset. How am I supposed to get into a relationship with someone if I can't feel love right now? It's frustrating because I want to be with him because he's such a nice guy, but everyone who I ever loved in my life and I thought loved me back ended up screwing you over. really badly. I don't want to be in a relationship. I just don't okay. want it. You know, I understand why Jackie's trying to set me up with her cousin Nick, and it's because he's a great guy. But it's just, for me to get into a relationship with him isn't fair to him. Jackie just needs to realize that pushing me into a relationship that I'm not ready for isn't fair either. From here on out, let's just talk about Adriana and clothes and fashion and... And this. All right, let's just go to the store and get more stuff. came for baby Michaela to enter the world, and I want Danny to capture every single moment, starting with the first contraction. I can't believe that when we come back into this apartment, we're gonna have a baby. Oh. There she goes. I'm scared. Why are you scared? I'm scared because I'm not like, I feel like every mom I've seen in labor is always like, <sighs> and I'm not that way. Like, I put tinted moisturizer on just now. I bet you if you give yourself four hours, you're going to be screaming just like those other mothers. I definitely like this one. Oh, found a room. Comes with a rocking chair. That's where Alex is going to sleep. It's a little tight, but she'll manage. We will be starting to IV on you and draw the blood, but that's the protocol of the hospital. Oh, wait, and a what? An IV. I don't want that. Well, we have to. So fast forward and we have a baby. This is baby Michaela. Look at daddy Michaela. Look, she's looking over at me. Oh, now she didn't. Hey, Michaela, say hi to the camera. Nothing prepares you for the way you feel when that baby is on your chest. This is my daughter. I mean, I love Rue and would take a bullet for him, but this feeling right now, I mean, this is my kid. And Alexa looks great for just giving birth. Do I? And no makeup. Yeah, you look really good. Alexa, she takes You look great. Your hair actually looks like really sassy, you know? Yeah, it does? Sassy. Sassy. Yes. Look at you, Michaela. She's so quiet. I hope she stays like this for the next, like, six months. Does everybody know that Alexa had the baby? No. She did? Yes. What, what does she have? A little girl. Oh, she's going to be in for it. I'm glad she had a girl, though. Yeah, she's going to get it. I want she's her to get have it back. <laughs> Today is the day that we're having the Hurricane Sandy fundraiser, and we're going to call it Beauty Gives Back. We're doing $25 blowouts, and all the money we make from that, we're going to give to the Hurricane Sandy victims. And we're going to be pampering the people that were affected with free hair and makeup services. And we're doing a donation drive by collecting food, toys, and clothing. Anthony and I want to do whatever we can to help these victims that have gotten really hit a lot worse than we did. Hey! hey hello! <laughs> How are you? How are you? I know. Oh my God, I can't what the stand hell? it. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you where to put all that stuff. It's definitely going to be really fun to get to go back to the Gatsby and go back to my old station for a day because I haven't been there in so long and I spent so much time there at one point in my life. 
So it's always like kind of refreshing, like going back to the house that you grew up in or something. Hey! Hi. Hi. Ready to bang some hair? I hope so. Oh, definitely. Hi, guys. Hi, everybody. Hi. Where's Christmas? Mwah. She's picking up a bunch of other donations. Mwah. How are you? I don't have a plan to deal with Tracy today. All I know is that I'm not gonna acknowledge her. Not acknowledging the person that obviously you have a problem with is better off, especially at this big event. Where can I set up, Gail? We're gonna be on this side. I don't get to throw Miguel out of my old station? I don't know, we're gonna have to fight for this. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Miss Gail. Hey, Felipe. What's going on? How you doing? Thank How you for you? coming. Oh, no, no, my pleasure. I'm gonna need your help. At the oh desk. yeah, whatever you need. Whatever the problem I have with Anthony, it's it's irrelevant today. Today is a day to show my support for all the victims of Hurricane Sandy because they were hit hard in Staten Island, and I'm from Staten Island. They were hit hard in Jersey. I'm representing Jersey, and at the end of the day, we got bigger things to worry about. Yeah. Back in the Gatsby, huh? I remember these days. I came so far from these days. My first day on the job. I mean, I gotta I gotta impress, right? Uh huh. You're impressing the hell out of all the ladies here. Yeah. <laughs> Who's been taking care of my broom ever since I left? You know, we all take our turns. But ain't nobody rub you like I do. Hey. Hey. What's up? Well, I promised you I wasn't going to be pushy anymore, and I'm not. But I still have that whole Gigi thing on my mind, and it's really bothering me that she's standing right there. Stop. <laughs> Like, I'm not gonna ruin the event if I say something that okay. is. If you say anything, it might spark something. I feel like it's how I approach it. If I just wanna talk to her. But Jackie, like, today is not the day. It's like a really important event. I know Olivia thinks she took care of the situation, but she doesn't understand how much Gigi hurt my feelings. This is something I personally need to get off my chest, and Gigi needs to hear that. I'm just gonna ask her, like, why? Like, why do you feel like No, you can't. Just let it go. I already took care of this Gigi drama for Jackie, but the way that Jackie is, she needs to hear it for herself in order to put it behind her. And I get that, but today is not the day for any more crazy drama. You know, we're here to do something good, and I hope that Jackie can remember that. Don't worry about it. Like, I'll try, I I'm not promising, though. I want to welcome everybody to Beauty Gives Back, and I want to say thank you to Anthony and his team from Anthony Roberts joining us. Thanks We're very, us. very happy that you came. We have a big day ahead of us today. I just want to thank everybody for donating their time. People have lost everything. We really want to raise as much money as we can. I know there's been a lot of issues with some of us in this room, but let's today put everything aside and let's just all try to work together be on the same team today and have as much fun as we can. So let's work and let's make some money. Thank you. I'm gonna open the doors. Come on in. You guys can stop here first. Here, take a seat right here. Is that just a little donation? Yeah, you can just leave it right over here. Thank you very much. We have a lot of different things going on at the Gatsby today. We have people getting blowouts, people getting haircuts, people buying raffle tickets, people doing a silent auction, people donating food, clothing, toys. Gail and I wanted to do as much as we possibly could to help the victims of Hurricane Sandy. Where do you live? In Sayreville. When I drive down the shore area now, it's amazing what everybody went through. I lost part of my downstairs in my house. Oh. We have to get everything replaced on the bottom, but we've had so many people helping us, and it, that's so great to have. Well, I'm glad that you're here. Thank you. So were you affected by the storm? I'd had four feet of water in the house. Oh, my god. You walk in, and everything's covered in mud. Don't cry. Don't cry. We're all here for you. It's going to be OK. What's your name? Kim. Nice to meet you, nice Olivia. To meet you. Were you affected by the hurricane? I have definitely had a lot go on. Everything is pretty much destroyed. It's been very sad. So today has been great because it kind of makes you forget. Yeah. But you really want everybody to know that the devastation is just unreal. You know, I'm, I honestly, like, I'm so sorry to hear this. And, you know, I hope that things get better really fast for you. Hurricane or no hurricane, Jersey will always be home to me. And I'm really thankful for what we were able to do today. 
and be able to help people and really connect with people who have lost everything. And no hurricane could ever blow that away. All you guys have done today is amazing. All these donations, all the money that you guys have raised is really going to go a long way. Well, you thank you so beautiful. much. It was great meeting you, and thank you for all your time. Thank you for, for telling everything. me about everything. Hey! hey. How's everything? Hello, Gail. Hi, How honey. are you? Thank you for coming and bringing thank all this food. Thank you so much for allowing the Jove family to come. Well, thank Whatever you. you need for me to do today, I'm well, yours, Gail. Let's get that pizza okay. set up. Okay. All in the We're, back. In the back, you have yes. a set up for us? Great. Hello. Cat, how, how are, are you? you, Anthony? How are you? Wow. How's everything? Good, good to see you. Good to what see you. a turnout. Right? This Amazing. Unbelievable. And hopefully we raised a lot of money. Really, it should be a great event. I'm really happy that, to be a part of this. I mean it, OK? Thank you. Thank you. Kathy's being very sweet to me today. And I don't know how to read into it. You know, maybe she's starting to think that leaving the salon was not her best move. I don't know. Only time will tell. I mean, I know we're busy and stuff, but I just, I have a lot to say to you, and I feel like I just can't stand there and not say it. Okay. For you to go around and tell people that I need to get my priorities straight and focus more on my daughter and my husband than less on Olivia and her situation. I hope I... you don't get it all twisted that I think you're like a bad mother, because I would never say that. I don't even know you. I would never I, even well say then, that about well you. Well, then what's this whole thing with me getting my priorities straight? You know, I just, I felt like what you did to Olivia was very fake. I mean, you know the whole this situation the whole, was fake. The whole situation was very misunderstood. It should have never happened the way it happened. You know, I was really trying to work on my friendship with Olivia, because yeah. I never did anything wrong to her, never talked bad about her, and I wanted to prove that. I heard and you I did never... talk bad about her. No, I never talk bad about I heard, her. But so I you would... talked bad about Tracy, and you talked bad about I her. I never talk bad about Olivia. When I, I just... care about something, I get very defensive. Oh, believe me, I know. What I said about Jackie got completely twisted around. I never called her a bad mother. I just wanted her to mind her own business. And now Jackie's in my face throwing all kinds of accusations at me. I'm, like, sucked into this big drama-filled world, and I just want to be out of it. All right, well, I got Hurricane Sandy victims to take care of, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Hi. Hi. Hey. It looks so good in here. And it's How's so weird to see you here. I, good. Yeah. How was picking everything up? Well, that's why I'm late, because I thought it was going to take me, like, a lot quicker, but... I couldn't even bring it in here. Let's put it that way. You guys are going to be completely floored. While we were busy taking care of everybody in the salon, Christy drove around town getting donations to help people get back on their feet. Wow. It's a whole entire truck filled of food and baby supplies and water and everything. Oh. Which added to all the stuff we already had donated today. I cannot believe how many toys there are. I just want to say on behalf of myself and Gail, thank you to everybody that came out today and helped out. Every one of us, I think, that's here today somehow was affected by the hurricane. And for all of us to come out today and do what we did to give back really means a lot to everybody involved. I think you guys really did a tremendous job. You should all give yourselves a round of applause for being here today. Okay, so the total that we raised for the Rain Foundation to benefit the Hurricane Sandy victims is $7,700 oh between donations oh and girls. All said and done at the end of the day, I'm really happy that we were able to come together, pull this off, and raise the kind of money that we raised to help these people who really need it. Thanks again, everybody. Thank I appreciate you. it. This went well today. It went very, very well. I mean, you guys raised us a lot of money, which is so important. Yeah, I mean, you got along well today. We got along for charity. So maybe you're coming to your senses and realizing that it was a big mistake what you did? Don't get it twisted, Anthony. I told you in the salon 
but I would put my differences aside to come and help with this charity event. However, I've made up my mind. I want this partnership terminated. I thought Kathy was gonna calm down and she was gonna realize that she was wrong and she was gonna come back to our partnership. That's obviously not the case now. So if it's out of the partnership she wants, it's out of the partnership she'll get. I stand by my decision 110% to no longer be associated with the Anthony Roberts Salon. As far as I'm concerned, our partnership is null and void. I just thought maybe seeing that, you know, that we could still work together, that there might have been a chance that you might have realized that. Anthony, I thought we worked very well together. I thought we were an amazing team. But no, I still stand by my decision. Have a nice night. I will. On the next episode of Jersey Licious. Kathy served me with legal papers telling me that she wants to dissolve the partnership. I didn't fire him. Could have pulled me, Anthony. Time. Friendship is one thing, business is another. Mm -hmm. I don't know anybody else that has a relationship with ex-boyfriend's mother. <laughs> I messed up. I have an interview for a job this week with um, Bergen.com. So let me just see a little bit of your hosting ability. <laughs> um, get more of the story straight from the cast. Go to stylenorkcom slash Jerseylicious.